Hey guys, welcome to another level two calculus skill session. In this session, we're going to be looking at turning points and double differentiation. So this is a follow up to turning points and their nature video. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, guys. So what we've got here is we've got a question here for this function and we've got to try and figure out the coordinates of the turning points. And we also got to figure out what the uh, whether it's a maximum or a minimum. Now, just to kind of get you started, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this graph in a calculator just to see what it looks like. Uh, so just go down into graph mode and type in the equation. So you've got x cubed plus 6x squared plus 9x plus 5. And when we click on draw, uh, there's our graph right there. And you can already see where the minimum point is. Um, I guess the maximum is, there you go, that's where the maximum is. Uh, you can actually click on G-Solve. What it does is it actually, it should give you what the max and minimum point is. So if you click on maximum, there's your answer, negative 3 and 5. And if you click on G-Solve again, which is F5, you can also get the minimum point, which happens to be negative 1 and 1. Now, what we have to do, though, is we've got to actually try and prove that these points. So we know what the final answer is, but I want to show you guys how to actually get to that final answer using calculus. And the new method that I'm going to talk about today is the double differentiation, which does come in. Uh, there is a video for it in my level three playlist. Uh, so have a look at it. Um, but otherwise, I'll show you guys how it works. And yes, you can actually use the double differentiation in level two calculus as well. So the first thing is um, nothing changes. We still have to differentiate the function. So I'm going to write the function as it is, which is x cubed plus 6x squared plus 9x plus 5. Then I'm going to differentiate the function. So I'm going to get f dash of x is equal to 3x squared plus 12x plus 9. Now remember that turning points happen when the gradient is equal to 0. So TP when F dash of X is equal to zero. So I'm going to put it as zero equals, uh, what do I have? 3X squared plus 12X plus nine. Now at this point, if your quadratic is not nice, you could always use the calculator again uh, to get the quadratic, um, you know, to put it in the quadratic formula and get the two X values. But this particular equation is um, fairly nice. Uh, because I can actually factorize this as x squared plus 4x plus 3, and then I get rid of the 3 on the left-hand side, which means I'm going to end up with uh, x squared plus 4x plus 3 is equal to 0. All right, so I need to factorize this quadratic, and it's going to nicely factorize to x plus 3 and x plus 1. Uh, therefore, we can say that x is equal to minus 3 and x is also equal to minus 1. And that was actually shown to us in the um, calculator as well because remember we've got minus 1 as our minimum and we had a minus 3 as the maximum. So as I was actually saying that we've got x equals negative 3 and x equals to negative 1, those are our minimum and maximum points. Uh, but we do need the coordinates of those points and because we need the coordinates, uh, what we're going to need to do is we're going to have to put negative 3 and negative 1 back into f of x to figure out what the coordinates are. So that means we're going to have to find what f of negative 3 is. So that's going to be negative 3 cubed plus 6 times negative 1 squared plus 9 times negative 1 plus 5. Now this is equal to, uh, you know, you could just use the calculator here. Um, Oh, sorry, wrong button. So we've got negative 3. Uh, I'm just going to use this method here because this always seems to work. Uh, and I'm going to go answer cubed plus 6 times answer squared plus 9 times answer plus 5. So this is going to give me 5 as one of the coordinates. And then f of negative 1 is negative 1 cubed plus 6 times... Oh, I just realized I made a mistake in the previous one. That should have been negative 3. 
uh, I guess this is why using that calculator with negative 3 kind of works out real nicely, but it's all right. We make mistakes. So in this case, I'm going to get negative 1 uh, plus 6 minus 9 plus 3, 9 minus 9, blah, 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 negative 1. Okay, so these are my two points right now. I've got negative 3 and positive 5, and uh, negative 1. Negative one and negative one. That doesn't sound right. Let me just go back and have a look at my graph. I think I've made a mistake somewhere. Where have I made a mistake? Yep, figured out my mistake. I copy error. This is what happens. That should have been a five and a five. And that then should have been a positive 1. Yeah. So as you guys can see there, I mean, like, even though it's like a little copy error there, I copied that question wrong and I ended up with the wrong point. So having the graphics calculator and drawing that out actually helps you guys out in the long run because you know uh, the answer that I got in the beginning and the answer I got in the calculation, uh, there was something wrong with it. So there you go. You learn from your mistake, yeah? Okay, so now we need to actually prove which one is maximum and which one is minimum. Now the rule that the double differentiation rule is very, very um, something you just need to remember, all right? So I'm going to write this down here. If f double dash of x is positive number, uh, then it will be a the point is a minimum. And if f, f double dash of x is negative, then it is a maximum um, value. So this little um, idea that I've just written in the green box is something you just need to remember um, because if you remember it and you can actually just uh, write it down as part of your statements so how do we how do we figure out f double dash of x well we already know what f dash of x is now f dash of x is equal to 3x squared plus 12x plus 9 so what we need to do is we are going to work out f double dash of x which basically just means uh, differentiate it a second time. So when we differentiate this a second time, we're going to end up with 6x plus 12. All right. So at this point, all you have to do is substitute the x values of minus 3 and minus 1. So we're simply going to substitute minus 3 and minus 1 into where this x is, and then look at the value, whether it's positive or negative. Um, so we're going to do when x equals to negative 3 first. So that means f double dash of negative 3 equals 6 times negative 3 plus 12, which equals to negative 6. And because it is negative, we're going to call this, uh, because it's negative, we're actually going to call this the, the maximum point. And then if you look at f double dash of negative 1, we've got 6 times negative 1 plus 12, which is equal to positive 6. And because this value is positive, uh, that means it is going to be a minimum. So at this point, you can actually write a statement saying something like this. Negative 3, 5 is max as f double dash of negative 3 is positive. Sorry, negative. And then you can say negative 1 and 1 is minimum as f double dash of negative 1 is positive. So you are actually allowed to do this particular method. And um, I mean, if you remember the, the previous video that I showed you guys where you had to find the gradient between the, like you find the turning point and then you find the gradient before it and after it, see if the two signs are different to try and figure out well, see what the two signs are to try and figure out um, whether it's a maximum or a minimum. But here, the double differentiation rule works perfectly fine. So if we go back to the graph again, well, I can, as I, you guys can already see it here, uh, negative 1, 1 is a minimum, negative 3, 5 is a maximum, and uh, we have actually proved it using calculus. Hey guys, that is basically it for this video. As always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and of course, subscribe to keep up with the latest content. Uh, there should be some playlists popping up. 
check them out. Good revision material. And as always, thank you for watching.